presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. I want to tell you, I've been listening to you since your radio days back in 99. Appreciate what you guys do. But what I really enjoy that you brought back to Award. This guy is as smart as a whip. I, I am so he, happy for that feedback. Yeah, because he's one of a kind. He's got to be the number one market timer. I'm telling you, it's like he calls it really, really he, good. He does. I really appreciate the feedback, man. Yes, yes. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's going to be a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 430, NASDAQ off 621, S&Ps off 120. Yeah, you heard that right. One, two, zero. Gold. Gold contract up $1.50, trading at 2,456 an ounce. We have silver up 17 cents, $29, 16 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 69 cents, $77, 65 cents. We're coming down like pretty intense here. Um, What's well, going to get interesting? Okay, so that's the E mini NQ, same ABC, different ABC down, but same concept. Bottom line is that right now we're trading at the uh, 18, 19,237. That ABC structure down is 18,755. So, yeah, this is low, but guess what? We're going lower. Um, It'll be interesting to see what happens in literally the next, you know, 60 minutes here. Because there hasn't been a bounce. It doesn't look like to me there's going to be a bounce. Because this is when you have two different things that end up happening. Is that the folks that were shot the market, yeah, you should get some buying at the close. That being said, there's been plenty of buying that's been going on here. And the real question there is that does that buy the early buying get sold at the close because you can only get squeezed so much. So when you're long like this and there's, there's no relief because there's been no relief at all here, it's pretty intense. Now, the next thing, now, what happens when you look at charts, folks, okay? And I basically learned this a long time ago, is that they always look like head and shoulders, highs or lows. <laughs> so you can't speculate on it. But now that being said, let me tell you something. If this is ever a head, of and we because we're going to come down to the shoulder. Now, if you if you look at this, the you know the numbers that we're talking about are going to bring you all the way back to uh, March first. And if that's what we get, and then we go sideways, that very well could be a monster head and shoulders top, which we won't know till you know we get down there. But pretty intense, man, no doubt. We take a look at it, and I don't like what's going on in gold here at all. Like, check this out, okay? So, we have gold that's flat today. It got to 2481, 
were twenty four fifty five, and you only did done one hundred and ninety seven thousand contracts. Man, you can't. That's that's not a lot of contract volume inside the gold market. So the gold market very well could be doing an ABC structure down. I suspect gold's going to go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is twenty three fifty. Now let's get over to the note and bond market because what you had out here today, you had Dudley, who was the head of the New York Fed, and the bottom line, you know, strong New York president, no doubt about that. He comes out and says that they, he thinks the Fed is making a mistake if he doesn't come down in July. Now, we say come down in July. It's next Wednesday, folks, okay? Is it next Wednesday? One second. Let me just make sure I got this. Fed. Fed. Where are you? Right, there we go. Right here. So, where, where'd you go? What just happened here? The, uh, okay, so, Tiger, right? Yeah, so July 31st. Uh, bottom line, there's no way the Fed's going to, well, we'll find out, but I, my take is that the Fed's not going to go down. The bond market, so check this out what happened with the 10 year today. The 10 year gets all the way up to 111.04 when Deadly comes out and then just gives it up in spades. Now, when I say gives it up in spades, they're going lower, and that means basically higher rates, okay? So <laughs> this is going to get really dicey, man, because what has happened, you know, in the market in general, we've had two economies, one being if you're in the stock market, yeah, you're doing fine. If you're in the real economy, it's a different ballgame. That being said, it looks to me like this thing is setting up, you know, that the volatility is here once again. There's no doubt. I mean, take a look at the, the VIX. The VIX is trading up over 17. What we have got out here today, we got the first big downdraft, a uh, down tick, rather. It's a minus 16... What did I have? Minus 16 something. 1644. Now that just happened too. That happened before the last downdraft inside the S&P. Yeah, there it is right there. 1644. So the way, if you're using your tick, what ends up happening is that now you're looking for, in the next few days, 70% of that 1644 for the second tick reading, down tick meaning, and then what you're also looking for, and this has to go up quite a bit, um, because what we have out here today, when you look at the arms, the arms is running 0.85, which, you know, when you get a downdraft that the NASDAQ is down 3%, um, there's still really not a lot of fear out there. You get the NASDAQ down 3.4%, the S&Ps are off 2%, and the Dow Industrials are off 1%. You know, inside the NDX 100, the strength versus the weakness, you get Tesla down 11.5%, Trade Desk is off 10.5%, uh, SM, uh, oh yeah, so Super Micro Computers down 9.5%. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Hi, folks, this is Tom O'Brien. We have a market. Over the past year, the market has been consistent in a strong upward trajectory. But now we're just starting to see signs of volatility. Don't let this volatility scare you. Times like these are when big money can be made. That's why I'm excited to announce a live trading event hosted by yours truly. Join me on Friday, August 2nd at 9 a.m. all the way until noon Eastern Standard Time while I trade the S&P, the Qs, the NDX 100, and I'm going to be trading the one-day options on the S&P as well as the NDX. To make this deal even better, I'm offering one month free of my Market Insight newsletter, which has beaten the market by almost a factor of five this year, in addition to a signed copy of my book, The Art of Timing the Trade. On top of trading the market live, I'll discuss how I plan my trading day, what times I've found to be the best to trade, how I decide to enter and exit trades, and so much more. I can't wait to see all you folks there. Make sure you sign up soon so you can get early access to my Market Insights and secure your spot. Wow! Let's get them, folks. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. 
Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. It's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until August 1st, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and they never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus from purchasing Tiger Dollars, now is your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until August 1st. So lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, back, folks. The Dow. Dow's off uh, 437. Nasdaq's down 625. S&P's are off a buck 22. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at uh, IYR. Okay, so IYR, that's the ETF uh, funds objective is to perform the Dow Jones Real Estate Index. Okay, let's see what they're holding first. Okay, so you're holding the Simon Property, Realty Income, Public Storage, Crown Castle, okay, American Tower Group, ProLogic. So ProLogic's warehouses, tower group, towers. Okay, so this is really the commercial business, which is a disaster, by the way. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This is a disaster. The stock's up. So it pays. Where is it? I'm looking for... I was looking for the dividend, I can't find it. One second, okay, so put this up here. Put it on a monthly. Oh, I see, yeah, it's, no. this is on a dead cat bounce. So you, you just went from 136 to 72, come off the lows. If you own it, I'd get out of it, man. I, I can tell you the Blackstone, that Blackstone REIT, you know, Blackstone has been trying to pump the real estate market up or pump all of us up. Here it is, Blackstone Mortgage right here. And they're just flat out and out lying, man. So you had out here today, Blackstone Mortgage, okay? I'm really familiar with this, this vehicle right here, okay? And what's going on here is that as Blackstone keeps saying, oh, we're at a bottom and all this, you know, Blackstone, the, the biggest commercial real estate owners in the, in the country, folks, okay? Bottom line is that they cut the dividend out here today. It, it's heavier than that, though, because what has happened is that people are having a hard time getting their money back out of this fund. That's what's going on. And if you bring this back, what you're going to see is that this is going to go back to the 2020 low, which is uh, 1267. And right now you're at 1552. So bottom line is that I would not be stepping into uh, <laughs> any of these REITs. It's not even, particularly a commercial REIT. Because commercial, what's happening is that the, 
the refinancing is coming up, and even a Blackstone, okay, they can they they could get refinanced, okay, but it would cost, and the cost would be astronomical, and the amount of money that would be lost inside of that re, which has already been lost, by the way, uh, is pretty intense. So, I wouldn't uh, <laughs> be getting near that thing. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So. If we take a look at some of the higher volume equities, there's going to be a lot of ABC structures down out here. That's the real bottom line. Okay, so we have Tesla's off 28 bucks, Nvidia 7, you got Apple 7, Google 9.5, ADM 8, Amazon 5.5. Okay, so let's go the Tesla first and see what's happening here. So you get 141 million shares on Tesla. Yeah, Tesla's on its way back to what, 198 or 218 right now. Let's stick it, that's the last time we had any juice on the way down. Outside of where we're actually coming into right now, but we're coming into, oh, uh, you get, 141 million shares versus 205. So there's a, there's a little support actually right where it is right now. We'll see what kind of a bounce you get, meaning, you know, what, it, what happens in markets like this, folks, okay, is that you, you, you have to expect a bounce, number one, okay, particularly on a day like down like today. You know, a couple of the Tigers that, well, all of us, <laughs> all of us that were shot would love that whole ABC down to finish today because what does happen is that this is where this gets tricky Overnight, when you start when you start talking about that, you have the NQs down six hundred eighty-seven points. Okay, you know because you can wake up in the morning, and then they're up two hundred, and that's only a dead cat bounce. So there's, it's at the beginning of a downdraft. What ends up happening is that your probabilities get a lot higher that you're going to be in, and you ride the baby down. As we keep get as we keep getting closer now to this ABC structure, that's when you have to be so careful because the fact of the matter is, is that you'll get a bounce, man. It's, you know, it's not here today, and I don't expect one to come in today at all. At all, I expect what you're gonna see is that at the close out here, you're gonna see more pressure, and it's gonna have to do with the aspect of the people that were buying earlier in the day, they're gonna get out, versus the people that are shot saying, okay, should I close the position tonight versus going overnight. And that's, that's gonna be the dicey one. That's gonna be the real close call here, it really is. Because the ABC structure down that I'm only talking about, um, you know, when you take a look, we take a look at the SPY, you're at 542. And, you know, we're coming down with a vengeance. So 520 looks to me like game. Uh, you get a gap that's opened at 537. Back to the, where we broke out from is 524. So I suspect we're going to get down to that level in the SPY. We take a look at the Qs. The Qs right now, we're at 464. I'd say 401 is game. No, 4. 401, oh my God, no, 449. So that's, if it's a 449, that's only 15 points from where we are. And you can see that we're down 16 right now. In both those cases, <laughs> you know, you're talking about, uh, what we're talking about exactly, three, six, we're only at 11 days down right now, 11 trading days. So it'd be really crazy if we get down there before Friday, or say Friday, because what that had, had done, uh, if that's what it does, is that, let's see, what is that? It's March 1st. March, April, May, June, yeah. <laughs> so in 10 days, you give back four months. But we know that that's how it works, man. That's, you know, that's just how it works in the marketplace. It's always the escalator up and the elevator down. And, you know, we'll see exactly how much damage that is out there today. Um, even though we're down this much, individual stocks, I haven't seen a huge amount of damage yet. I've seen plenty of, not plenty, there's ABC structures down for sure. Um, that being said, let's go look at ExxonMobil for a second. Because the, the oil market, 
the physical oil market was saying, yeah, see, Exxon's not down. You know, they caught a bid out there. The oil market itself, though, it looks to me that right now we're out there at the 77.54. It looks to me like that wants to go to the bottom of this consolidation. And the bottom of that consolidation runs down to $72. Dow. Dow right now is trading up 420. NASDAQ's off 620. S&P's are off 120. That's pretty wild, man. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale. We got our man, Mr. Larry Pesavento. He's going to be trading live this Friday. I'm going to be trading live next Friday. So check it out on the front page of TFNN. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's up 446. Nasdaq's down at 643. S&Ps are up 124. Let's go to the S&P for a second. See how this little... Every little leg now is like vicious. 
Okay, so five, four, seven, four, we hit. Yeah, you still get volume in it, man. Big time. In fact, look at this. Hold it. Uh -huh. Oh, I can make another case. Oh, what is this one? Let me look at this one. What is this? Five, 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 one. That's a 61A to B. That's uh, five, four, four, oh. So now there's another ABC down, folks. <laughs> uh, so the long, the, so there's five, four, fifty is the big ABC. Intraday, what did I just say? Five, four, four, oh. It's another 10 points. So your probability that we'll get into the five, four, five, zero just went up because of this intraday. We go, that's in the E minis. So the NQs. Yep, that did it too. Okay, so conservatively, let's do it this way. What do we got? 653. Okay, 310. So we got what? 342. 340, that's called 340. 19,000. 40, 19,000, no. Oh, let me do this again. Sorry, folks, okay, one second. 653, that's 308. 340, 19,000, 040. Yeah, zero four zero. So that's two hundred more down there. And so the NQs actually have more. Eighteen thousand seven fifty five. That one's still in place. Big numbers though. That's the bottom line. Big numbers. And it doesn't mean that you won't do another ABC structure down after a bounce either. What happens is that this is we're in the time frame right now, which can be problematic, meaning between the middle of July all the way up until about the middle of October. Because what does happen, so picture how this works. Normally what ends up happening is that this is always the weakest time anyway. The lows normally get established somewhere at the end of September to the beginning of October. And then by the end of October, you're actually off those lows. Doesn't mean, you know, of course, that's going to happen the same way all the time. But it's pretty, it's pretty close, man. It's pretty close in the context of two, three, four weeks both ways. And in this particular case, you know, if this is going to continue to be a razor blade down, it's a problem. Days like this. See, if you get two or three days like this, you get a bottom in. What doesn't happen... And I'll show you, because this is what we actually just did. What doesn't happen is that you come down fast, you bounce immediately, and then go, and then bang, you get hit again. You know, this is like a razor blade deal. You know, you're only down four days. Well, you're down three days. You go up two, you get slammed, and the amount of energy that the market is using today is huge so you do have an aspect if this was if this was a thursday coming into a friday i'd be saying that you know let's look for a low i suspect what's going to happen is that more than likely low will come in on friday and if that's the case though we just might have another fast and furious couple days down with the turn you know being either friday near the close are starts at, normally if you get a real good bounce, folks, it normally starts at like two, quarter past two. The reason, I'm not, I don't know the reason far, meaning I'm giving that time frame, but that's when they normally happen, when you get a good bounce, because then you have an hour and a half of buying coming in. It's fast, it's furious. Who's ever shot the market also has to close, because you gotta remember, 
because we're dealing with such large numbers now, what happens percentage-wise, the numbers are going to keep getting larger on the way down, on where the stop should be, the amount of dollars that are at risk, the amount of dollars that folks have made, do they take it off the market, leave it on the market? All of those things are pretty intense when we start looking at, you know, 39,000 the Dow, 17,000 the NASDAQ, 55, 5,400 and the S&P. It makes a huge difference in, in the context of percentage-wise, and you should stick with the percentages, stick with your 0.382506187867866, the whole ball of wax, because they're bigger, bigger numbers, and you want to be a, aware of the number, because if you're aware of the number and you're getting that number, it's, it's a different deal altogether. You're not going to be sitting there shocked saying, oh, man, the, the NQs just went up 200. Well, of course they would just went up 200 because we come down 700. <laughs> you know, that's, that, that's a normal occurrence, you know. So we go take a look at the, let me go look at the long bond here because I think what you're going to start seeing here, this, is, this was a curveball out here today inside the bond market. And they had Dudley coming out, you know, saying that he thinks that they should go right now. And then the market said, well, I don't care what you think. Uh, bottom line, I'm, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to be down with volume. As you can see, this 30 is down with volume, man. Now, that's saying that it's going to go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is 115.30. And right now, you're at 118. And we'll see how that's going to shake out. And if we go to the TLT and look at the 20-year plus... ETF structure, yeah, you can see it's down on volume, man. In fact, it's a small ABC down. Yeah, it's breaking the B point with volume. That's going also to the bottom of the consolidation. Well, the first bottom of the consolidation is this, what, 89.32. Put this on a weekly for a second. Yeah, the bottom, well, the bottom of this consolidation actually is 89.54. Yeah, and we're at 91. So, so that's also saying that it, that rates are going to not give us any hand here, which is pretty wild, man. Because that's the only way that the economy itself is going to get released. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets.
TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow, Dow's off 443, Nasdaq's off 573, S&P's uh, down a buck 50. We go, let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look. Because the Dow certainly is not down a lot. Uh, bottom percentage wise, you know, so inside of the Dow Industrials, the strength is uh, United Health putting 26 positive points, Johnson Johnson 23, Amgen 19, taken away from it. Oh, look at that, Microsoft 60, 100 negative points, Visa 68, Home Depot 51, big numbers on the other side, no, no doubt about that. So if we go to Home Depot for a second, let's take a look at Home Depot. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so you come off. Come off the highs. It's actually it's holding up pretty good, man, for a bad market, man. Yeah, I mean... Hey, you can make the case here that no, it's not going high. So I, I really, I, this, it's running out of volume again. But that, that's not a bad setup, man, for the type of market we have right now, which is really intriguing, actually. Meaning that, you know, you, you have a downdraft going. You have, let's go see if we get an expansion of volume. Because it was the SPY that didn't have a lot of volume. We've had divergence there before. Okay, we're 46 million. Yeah, there's no way it's going to make 65. So what's going to happen here is that you're not going to get a confirmed ABC structure down on the SPY. On the Qs, however, we have it. And this had, you know, do you remember this just happened? On the last ABC down two, the Qs had it and the SPY didn't. And we got it anyway. So we're going to get it in the Qs. We're already, we're at already 43 million. We needed 42 million. And so that's going to be, that's going to be quite a hit because watch this. We do, I'll do five year weekly. Because when you see what it's actually going back to, watch this. This gets really weird actually. Right there. Okay, we're not going back to there. If we did, that'd be. See, if we take what, that's 2021. That'd be weird. Hey, if, you, if you're watching Tiger TV, check this out, folks. Okay, you want you, it, it? What you always should be doing is speculating where you think it might go up as well as down. Now, the the red line that I have here in the chart is what the price projection is, meaning, you know, 440. Okay, on the Qs. Watch what happens if you go down one more leg. If you go down one more leg, we're back to 2021, November of 2021. That would be a total mind screwer. <laughs> it also, as you come down here, you can see what I was talking about earlier in the program, how this could be just a monster head. And then you have the shoulders coming right across here. And that would be pretty intense because let me just look at this, how this lines up. 
That's 503. No, it's not that bad. 50 bucks. Brings you to 400, right? Yeah, see, that's interesting, man. Is that right there? Well, there's going to be a lot of action here, man, both ways, because what, we what, what you are going to see, it's going to be all about this interest rate structure. So it's next Wednesday at the, the Fed's meeting. In that particular case, it's probably, you know, status quo, meaning we stay at what we stay at. Then we don't have a meeting in August. We come back in September. And in September, I think it's the 18th. Let's see. Yeah, it's the 18th. That's the way that's set up. I mean, look at these rates. This is five and a quarter to 550 on a short term rate. It's pretty intense, no doubt. So we'll see if they come down to five to five and a quarter. You know, and what 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 has happened in the past, let's put it this way. Normally when the Fed just starts coming down, they don't do it once. Okay? So if that's what we get, you can expect that, you know, we're going to be getting rate cuts for the next six, seven, eight, you know, year and a half, whatever that is. I don't expect the way the bond market is running right now. That's not even saying that September is clear. You know, that's that's how this thing is shaking out, man. That being said, as I said last week. If we keep showing up red like this in the stock market, they're going down, they're going down fast. You know, because the Fed claims that, yeah, they want the whole economy. Well, the Fed gets totally freaked out when there's Sherman Williams paint, green, red rather, not green, uh, in the broad market. You know, they basically, you know, they rip those rates down so quick, you don't know, see straight. So the escalator starts back up again until it doesn't, you know, but that's... I expect that that's, we're going to see this. You know. If we go to the GDX, we take a look at the, the gold mark and the GDX. This couldn't hold price out here today. Still not bad, but it's not holding price. We got up to 38.38. You're trading to 37.27. You had 15 million shares, which is good. That's what we needed because yesterday what was going on, you know, we went up with uh, 8 million. That doesn't fly, man. You know, so... What, what is happening inside the gold market, even though the, the metal itself is getting hit, this is holding up, man. This is, this is definitely holding up. We'll see what the aspect is uh, if, in fact, you know, we keep going down like this. But the gold equities today, as well as the gold ETF structures, are holding up really well for a market that's uh, down 2 to 3%. You know? Because what we've seen in the past is that when you get the gold, uh, the broad market getting hit, the gold market gets hits too. And it hasn't happened. And then we take a look at the dollar, you know, DXY, you can see this dollar is in the lower range. And, you know, it doesn't look to me like it's going to get out of this range. Well, so we're going lower. It did reject today 104, 122. So it's like, okay, you're going to do, do another little bounce here. Um, try to get higher. And I'm going to keep your eye on that dollar is the 104 uh, 900 area. The 104 900 area, if that pops back into higher range again, it's going to be like, you've got to be kidding me. Because what also happens there, if it pops back into higher range, that is also telling you that the note and bond market, okay, is going to continue basically going to lower price, higher yields, versus higher price, lower yields. Because the strength behind the dollar has to do with our interest rate structure, and our interest rate structure right now is still very high. So we gotta take a look at the uh, gold bugs index, because we, we had divergence between the XAU and the HUI. Yeah, see the HUI gave it up today too. Yeah, we got the 305, it's trading 298. We're going, we're going, now what that's telling me, that's telling me the goals are going down next couple of days as well as the market, because the market's going to drag them down. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's off uh, 515, Nasdaq's off 642, S&Ps are off 129. Let's go to the S&Ps because I got a feeling you're going to have just this one more flush. That's what it looks like. And it's already started at the beginning of that commercial break. Yeah, there she is, man. This is another ABC down. Learn your ABCs, folks. Bottom line is that we're in an ABC market now, big time, too. So this one here, let me just leave this one here for a second. What is this quickly? Well, here, I'll do the SPY. That'll be quicker, the smaller number. So if we do the SPY, whoops, come. Here's 540.52. What did this one come out to be? Let's see, what's that? I'm going to call it 545. Okay. 350 A to B. That's going to give you 539. And you're at 540, 60. So we got some real action here, man. Now let's just see. This would be a mind screwer if the spy volume ever came in. We're at 51 million right now. It needs 65 million. Now the Q's already did it. But let's see. How many? It's. This could happen if there's a real flush. This could you could you could get that inside the queues. Um, I mean inside the the spy. The queues we we already have it. The queues are confirmed ABC structure down. You're already at 48 million. All you needed there was uh, 
42. They'll throw another 10 in there. And then what you can see on the queue, so check this out. See that right there? That the date that I'm getting you there, folks, is on the May 31st. That's a high volume day. That's what it's gunning for right now. That's 452. So we're down 17 points today. 452 is game for tomorrow, man. Fast and furious, no doubt. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your hat out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, we'll get him, folks.